Hi there, my name is Jeff. I'm going to be showing you a quick demo how to use my website, veryrelated.com. So you can see the uh, look and feel of the site is pretty snazzy now. I've got my friend Jessica to help me out uh, by designing a new logo and some fancy uh, graphics and stuff like that. So um, hopefully it'll be a bit more easy to use as well. Uh, what you basically do in this site is type in a word and it will show you a mind map, which is a bu bunch of bubbles and lines uh, showing what are related concepts and uh, words on the internet. And it's actually grabbing the data from Yahoo's search engine, and Yahoo has a very large index of the web, so what you're seeing is words that are related on this site are actually really highly related to each other and appear on, on the same page together on the internet. So let's start off with a simple word. Let's explore the world of internet concepts, which of course is a very easy thing to do on the internet because you've got internet concepts. So let's type in the word Google and see what we get. So Google is related to Facebook is the number one thing. YouTube, Yahoo, MySpace, Adobe, blog. Okay, that's pretty cool. Scroll down the screen, see on the left side, a uh, bunch of stuff here. They're related to Microsoft, advertising, MySpace. So you can click on any of these things. So let's click on uh, Apple. See what we get for Apple. Apple is the most related thing is iPhone, which is not surprising. PC, Microsoft, Mac, iPod, 3G, computer. These are all very obvious things. And you think, what, what's the useful thing of this? Well, let's type in something we don't maybe know so much about, like uh, Nigeria. So I don't know much about Nigeria. So, well, if you didn't know anything about Nigeria, come here and you'd see that Nigeria is in Africa. It's, it's related to Ghana near China, possibly. I don't know, or it's commonly discussed with China. So if you don't know why a, a term is related to the word that you're looking up, there's a little hidden sort of feature of this site. There's a little magnifying glass which you can kind of squint and see to the right of every word on the left here. That will bring up the Google search for the combined words. So for Nigeria and China, let's bring up, see why they're related. So in Google it gives us this explanation that it has to do with the China-Nigeria relations and you can use this as a starting point to explore uh, what's going on with Nigeria and China today. So we can continue just clicking around. I'll click on Ghana and uh, Kenya, Tanzania, all these nice things. So if you, if you look at this graph on the right side, um, how this works is that the bubbles are smaller or bigger depending on how popular that word is on web pages. So if a word appears on more web pages, it's going to have a bigger bubble. So obviously the word south is a very common word. It's much bigger than Africa. And south is very closely related to Africa, so uh, the word bubbles are very close together. And Africa is not quite as highly related to China, so the space between that China bubble and Africa is actually greater. So it's a useful, useful way to visualize the word. So that's pretty much it. Um, type anything, like I'll, type, I'll just click through and do a few more searches. Type food. Food gives us uh, good sports, health, entertainment. You can type in ingredients like onion, which I've done before in previous demos. And I like clicking on bacon and seeing what we get with bacon. Bacon and tomato. Oh, bacon and cheese. I find this website's a really good way to find ingredients that are very delicious and go together very nicely. Um, you can also type in names of movie stars or let's type in uh, Robin Williams. So we don't actually have any words yet for Robin Williams. So this is where you can use the discover words automatically feature where you can suggest words that are related to Robin Williams. Uh, so this actually takes a little while but what you'll see is that if I interrupt it at this point, you'll see that it'll get a few things connected to Robin Williams. Uh, anyway, that's just more that you can explore on this website. So my website is veryrelated.com, and I hope you enjoy exploring this site. And if you have anything, comments, please email me at jeff, with a G, at gpeters.com, or click at the bottom of the site for my website link. Okay, you have a good day. Bye-bye.